Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome, uh, I hope you're all well. Um, this is just a short little video on a concept that I found very helpful that's called feedback, a feedback mindset. Um, it comes from a book that's called The End of Trauma by George A. Bonanno. And he highlights that often we talk about gaining resilience in life, but he argues that resilience is an outcome and you can't seek resilience. Rather, he feels that we need to seek uh, feedback, in, uh, sorry, flexibility in our life. And through that, the outcome is resilience. And flexibility is not what people often think when we speak about flexibility. It doesn't mean compromising um, and conceding. Rather, it's the ability to adapt in each situation accordingly. So you have a situation and you ask yourself, what's going on? That's the first step of the flexibility sequence, which we call um, uh, uh, context sensitivity. You're, try you're sensitive to what's going on in your environment. And he argues that we are often very poor at this and we assume the situation is a certain way and it's often not. And so he argues we need to get a sense of the situation, context sensitivity, then apply our repertoire available to us. That could be internal repertoire or external repertoire, internal repertoire being, for example, um, applying courage. Um, say you've got to go give a speech, for example, you have, um, you have self-talk with yourself. So using self-dialogue with yourself. And I have another video on about self-dialogue and, and ways to work with that. Um, and that or external, you're getting someone, a coach, for example, to help you go over your lines. That's the external. And then we have what he calls the third step, feedback monitoring. How am I doing? So now I've applied, now I've assessed the situation, I've applied my, what I have available in my repertoire, what is, what, what's coming back to me? And then you go back to the beginning, i.e. now you assess the situation, how are things now? And through that flexibility, that constant revising, reflecting, and then responding accordingly, we get, get greater clarity about how to deal with our situations. Um, a lot of us do this unconsciously, um, and it's, it comes naturally, but when we bring it into the conscious awareness, we're able to work with it better. Um, and so an example will be, say for example, you have something in the wall when you can't get it out, and so what do, that's the context sensitivity. This is this awareness of the situation. And then what do I have available? And often we apply one way. That's the mistake we make uh, to a many to an array of situations and it doesn't work for every situation. So for example, sometimes we just need to be stoic and we need to be strong and we need to just push through and be patient. Other times, no, we do need to assert ourselves in a situation and put boundaries up and we assess that. I've applied boundaries with a person or a situation what's the feedback now coming back then discussing getting counsel from friends and family that you respect and have experience and then reassessing the feedback monitoring so with this example i'm giving is that there's something in the wall i can't get it out so i use a hammer no it's making the wall damage and it's damaging the wall even more it's called uh, it's, i haven't got the thing out so then i bring, uh, apply the pliers that's not working I've, that's all I've got in my array of my internal resources, external resources. Now I reach out to someone, get advice, still can't apply. Okay, I need them to help me now. And so it's that constant reassessing. Can I do it myself? You go through the steps with the different repertoire you have available. If that doesn't work, then getting advice. If that doesn't work, getting someone to actually help do the job for me. And in each situation, assessing what you need. And through those steps, applying this, we gain resilience. Like I just said, the problem often for all of us is that we just insist on certain ways that we've done things time and time again throughout our life and rely on that when we do have to adapt. And that in life, um, we sometimes something that worked for us in the past might not work for us now because we're in this different stage of our life. And then we can get very frustrated and we think, you know, we can get so frustrated that we end up blaming others. We blame 
circumstances, we blame God. And really what it is, is we need to go back to feedback monitoring, our repertoire, sorry, context sensitivity, number one, repertoire, and then the feedback monitoring and apply ourselves regularly throughout our lives.